Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Joey Does Tech, and welcome yourselves back to a brand new video. To put it simply, in this one I'm going to be showing you how to clean your old, dusty Xbox One. Now if you're like me, and you've had your Xbox One for around 7 years or so, it's going to have accumulated a lot of dust. Now the process to do it is actually quite simple, and these are a list of tools that you'll need. First off is our complete and utter bread and butter, and that is our screwdriver set. Now the exact screwdriver that you need for this or the screwdriver heads you need for this are a Torx 8, 9 and 10 I'm pretty sure. If you have all three of those you're going to be covered on all bases and you'll have nothing to worry about. In my opinion the second most needed tool is your prying tool. This is the metal version of a prying tool, you can get plastic ones, it's said that the metal ones are more damaging on the Xbox but you could have either plastic or metal, just some sort of prying tool. An alternative to this would be your flat headed screwdriver. A toothbrush for ease of access to any dusty spots you can't get to. This is by far the safest way to remove any sort of dust from anything electrical. If you are unable to get your hands on a can of air, what I would strongly recommend is using a bigger toothbrush, AKA dustpan and brush. This will be more than suffice just to be able to scrape any dust off your Xbox that you build up. This one, this one isn't really a, a massively needed one. There is an Xbox warranty sticker. So FYI, if anybody's watching this video and you want to get inside your Xbox one to be able to clean any of the dust, you will need to remove a warranty sticker. It's a pretty basic setup of tools for something that can potentially ruin your Xbox, especially if you've had it for a long period of time. The dust buildup can cause a lot of components to get overheated and potentially fry your Xbox. It is worth mentioning that I've done this once before as a complete beginner and I have marked my Xbox pretty bad and I'll show you guys that in a second. We then navigate ourselves around the Xbox releasing the clips from underneath. Let's get down to the dismantling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Joey, hold your horses. You gotta make sure that you turn your Xbox off, remove the power plug and eject any disc no matter how bad it may be from the Xbox before you continue. All right, now we can carry on. The first thing you need to do is stand the Xbox on its side where the USB port and sync button show. Then we're going to take our shiny prying tool and lift the flimsy casing on the same side. This is one of the easier parts of the process. Next we're going to take this triangular shaped part and slide it away from the sync button. Now we divert our attention to the back side of the Xbox. Here you'll see the warranty sticker which you'll need to cut to open the case. Go back to the side where we removed the plastic grill. Upcoming is one of the most tedious parts in my opinion. Push down and away on the smaller piece of plastic to undo the clip on the inside. Be sure to try and hold this separated as it will make your life easier. Where the warranty sticker is, there is another clip. Simply insert your prying tool and repeat the same down and away motion to separate the clip. How many times do I have to say clip in this video? There are three clips located on the back, here, here, and here. And again, you'll need to repeat the same process that we did for the previous clips, down and away. Before you rip the top casing off, ensure that there is a half an inch gap at the back and very carefully turn the Xbox over to the front. There is a ribbing cable attached somewhere, which I'm gonna show you next. Hence why you don't wanna rip the top off. And now we're gonna switch over to the live mic just to give you a better understanding of what's going on. So what I'm gonna slowly do is open up the Xbox from the back to the front. Now there will be a little bit of resistance and the reason being, is because of the corner on this side, okay? You give it a lift, you should be able to see, if I push this back a little bit, you should be able to see the ribbon cable. You see that down here? That is in fact a cable. And you see this green bar here? This is where the magic happens. This is your on button, this is your eject, your CD button, and your sync button on the side. All of these wires go to this green motherboard at the front, which then links to the main motherboard that's in the Xbox. So we need to be extremely careful when taking this out. Trying to set up an angle for this was, was horrendous. I'll tell you what, live Joey would actually be a little bit better to explain this. So first things first, this is what it looked like with the cable in. So we had the cable that went in and then you had the blue around the outskirts. To remove the cable, you need to gently, with your prying tool, push 
these two sides of the button. This will loosen the ribbon cable. Then you need to take up the blue that's around the ribbon cable and that will loosen it off of the connector. You can then just pull it out, it's real, real simple. Same rules apply for putting it back in. I'll show you a bit later on. You just do it backwards. So first of all, you put the ribbon cable in this way, you'd loop the blue around and then just to secure it at the end, you'd push either side of this in and that would secure the cable. And now you remove the following two cables. Put the Xbox back to its normal position facing up as we now remove the Wi-Fi card. To do this, we'll need the Torx 8 screwdriver bit. Remove the following two screws holding the card in place. And now simply but gently, grab the card on the corners and slowly lift it up towards you. You can give it a little bit of a wiggle if it's, if it's not coming out. Then remove the antenna wire that is on the card. Keep this somewhere safe along with the screws. Now switch over to your Torx 10 screwdriver. There are eight screws in total that you need to remove from the silver plate. There is another cable attached to the motherboard from the casing, so make sure that you unplug this before lifting it up fully. The cable is located just on the other side of where the Wi-Fi board was. This is just a quick side note really, this video isn't to show you how to change out the hard drive on an Xbox One, but whilst we're here, I might as well tell you real quick. There's two cables, you have the power cable and the data cable, you unplug them from the motherboard, you lift the stand that the hard drive is on, there is four screws on the back side of that stand, you unscrew them, you swap out the hard drive, Bob's your uncle. Back to the dusting. This part is pretty self-explanatory, just ensure that you're in an area with quite a lot of air and room, because if you spray dust in a small tiny area, it's not it's not gonna be nice, and you're gonna be breathing in a lot. That's a lot of bogeys. Use the can of air on the motherboard, and just make sure you loosen up any dust that you can. Make sure to focus this on the fan as well. If you've got massive clumps of dust on your fan, just remove them with your fingers. Go around the fan with the toothbrush, and then use the can of air to get rid of any leftover dust that you might have and follow the exact same procedure for the metal casing and the main case of the Xbox. And now we're gonna work backwards to putting your Xbox back together. If you did remove the hard drive, make sure this sits correctly on the motherboard, then plug in the data cable and the power cable. Next, plug in the Wi-Fi cards cable back into the motherboard from the case. Now place the eight screws that you took out earlier back in the same spot you took them out from. To help you, on the casing, the character C followed by a number is where the screws should go back. Now we're going to take the Wi-Fi card that we removed earlier and we're going to put this back in the clip. Don't force it, it should just fit nice and simple. You'll need to switch back to the Torx 8 screwdriver to do this. Once you've plugged this in, screw in the screws and put that antenna cable back on the Wi-Fi card. Put the antenna cable back into the front plate where we removed it from before and do the exact same with this other cable. This other cable is for the sound when you turn the Xbox on and you remove a disc. This is the part where we need to put the ribbon cable back. Again, getting the angle for this was horrible. As I've explained earlier, just get your pry in tool, make sure the ribbon is correctly attached with the blue on the outside, make sure to tuck it in properly and then with the pry in tool, just push the plastic bits in to secure the ribbon cable. This bit can be deemed as the hardest. Putting the last shell back on. Make sure that all the clips at the front line up and it sits plush. Then work your way to the side of the Xbox opposite to the grill that we removed at the start. 
it will take some force but you'll need to pull the shell over a clip on the corner once this has been done all the clips will sit nicely the way that i learned from this is you'll know if it's not sitting properly because of the gaps that are around the xbox you will not get this right the first time you try trust me but if you do please let me know in the comments you should get yourself on Takeshi's castle or something and we're finally getting to the end of the puzzle guys we're nearly there all you need to do is take that triangle piece that we took out at the start and put that back in just slide it back in exactly the same with the vent grab the vent stick it on top and just clip it into place not much force will be needed for this and that's that guys you have completed it you've taken apart an xbox you've cleaned it dusted it and you've put one back together let me know how yours went in the comments below and there we have it i hope i made that as simple as possible for you guys there are some fiddly and tricky bits like trying to pull the plastic apart and in fact put it back together but overall it's not massively difficult just to prolong the life of your xbox one depending on how this video does i do have a ps4 slim which i can take apart and give that a clean as well. That'll be the first time I've ever opened the PS4, mind you. I'll definitely have to do my research beforehand. I do also live stream on Twitch at the moment. Mostly I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty Warzone. So if you guys want to come and see me live, twitch.tv forward slash genetics underscore TK. The link will be in the description down below. Hopefully you're not absolutely bored out of your skull. And if you're not, please click on this video suggested above. And if you did enjoy the content that you've seen today, please consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell for more videos. All of the items today that I've used, I will ensure that I put a link in the description down below. It's been your boy Joey Does Tech. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Peace.